Good morning, dear listeners. Today we start a new episode of the Noidontology uh, podcast series um, based on my books. Uh, and uh, today we focus and introduce uh, the three great dimensions of existence in the Hermetic tradition, um, which is a chapter of my book, The Seven Laws of Reality and Being. So the Hermetic tradition speaks of three different planes or dimensions of reality. These are the great physical planes, the great mental planes, and the great spiritual planes. Each of these uh, planes is divided into seven subdivisions according to the rate of vibration and the law of cause and effect. So the Hermetic teachings regard matter as a form of energy, that is, energy at a low rate of vibration of a certain kind. So therefore, the seven physical planes include three planes of physical matter, and three planes of energy, which ranges from the physical energy that we can observe, like heat, light, magnetism, electricity, gravity, to the more spiritual energy uh, used by spiritually developed beings and which may be considered divine or miraculous powers. Uh, and so that, that we cannot observe with our senses unless uh, uh, these beings, they manifest um okay so these seven physical planes are separated by uh the plane of ethereal substance which is the seventh one which is what science calls ether a substance of extreme elasticity pervading all universal space and acting as a medium for the transmission of waves of physical energy such as light heat electricity and radio waves and also spiritual energy, which is the phenomenon of mentations, mind power, and divine powers. So this ethereal substance also forms a connected li connecting link between the plane of matter and energy. So that was the first uh, set of seven um, physical planes. Now we come to the seven mental planes, which comprise minerals, plants, animals, and human beings in ascending order according to the low vibration and the low cause and effect. Uh, the low vibration and the degree of mental development uh, which is expressed by each of them defines the sort of scale, uh, the, well, the, the manifestation in the scale of the seven mental planes. And uh, since the first principle of mind states that all is mind in the Hermetic tradition, uh, the Hermetic teachings consider minerals and plants as expressing a very rudimentary form of mindness or mentation. So they are included in the seven mental planes. And the next uh, and the third uh, set of seven spiritual planes include uh, godlike uh, beings possessing a life, mind, and capacity and forms so exalted compared to the human beings of this era that our mind cannot even conceive. The life and bodies of these beings are clothed in pure energy, vibrating uh, at a very high rate uh, due to the such positive spiritual causes uh, and vibrations, mm, since everything is ruled and dominated by the law of cause and effect and the law of vibration. Uh, but so even these highest uh, advanced godlike uh, sentient beings exist uh, merely as a reflection of the play of mind of pure being or the play of reality and uh, therefore they are subject to the laws of reality as much as human beings and animals on earth and uh, these godlike beings are still mortal and therefore they're doomed to endless rebirth like any other sentient being until the total realization or awakening to the mind of pure being or timeless reality. So even though they are exalted and invisible to our senses um, and almost incomprehensible for our human minds, they're still uh, within the seven laws of reality. Okay, so this is all for today uh, regarding the Hermetic tradition and uh, the great dimensions of existence. Uh, more information can be found in the book The Seven Laws of Reality and Beings and uh, some different uh, information about the realms of existence according uh, to 
different traditions um, of the arcane teachings can be found in a book Noage Ontology and I uh, obviously uh, put the links to the books in the comments. Thank you for listening.